Hi everyone, so today I'm going to do a quick video. Um, the video is going to be basically about my top 5 favorite skincare products um, as of right now because I've been asked a lot to do skincare videos or skincare posts on my blog but I wasn't sure what I liked um, as far as skincare because I'm actually allergic to a lot of skincare products. I'm allergic to cocoa butter, shea butter, um, any kind of cocoa nut, um, anything with anything like coconutty I'm allergic to. I'm also allergic to certain organic products which kind of sucks. So yeah. So today I'm going to go over my five, um, five, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> my five favorite skincare um, products as of right now. Okay so the first thing I'm really liking is going to be my Lush Cold Face Cleanser. It looks like this. Um, it's just like a chunk of um, like a chunk of a uh, like it looks like a soap but it looks like that. Um, this is actually a really good cleanser. I've noticed since I started using it I've actually decreased some breakouts on my skin especially around my chin area and sometimes my forehead area. Um, and I like this cleanser a lot. Um, I like it because it smells like really good. Some people think, some, some of my friends think it smells kind of strange but I like the smell of it and this is actually a really good cleanser so yeah. Um, on top of it um, I just like it. It's, when it lathers up, it lathers up into this gray kind of black foam, which I don't know if people went like that, but I like it. So this is my favorite cleanser as of right now. Um, I think this one's kind of expensive. It's about like, I think $21 for like maybe a chunk or whatever. I got like a big chunk last time. My chunk was probably like, like this big, but I used most of it. So now I only have about this much, but this is actually a really good cleanser. So yeah. Okay, my next um, second favorite skincare product that I have to have um, most of the time is going to be this. It's the Kiehl's Cucumber Herbal Alcohol Free Toner. Looks like that. Um, I put it in this bottle because I don't like... I obviously do not like squeezing it out of the bottle like this and just putting it on a cotton ball. I first spraying it on my face, so I actually got this uh, spray bottle from Target for about, I think, 97 cents. And it, it's placed in this little bottle, and I spray it on my face, and I only have this much left. And I've had a hate-love relationship with this toner for the longest time. Like, for a long time, I was like, I'm not sure if I like this toner, if I don't like this toner. And then afterwards, I decided, I'll give it another shot. So I decided to give this one, this toner, another shot. And I actually really like this toner. Um, and it comes out, like, it comes out really nice. Like, I, t I try to tell my face two times a day, once in the morning, once at night. And then, the thing about this toner is that when I first applied it, it stung my face. Like, oh my god, it was, like, so painful. I couldn't even, like... I didn't even know what to do. So I stung my face, but then afterwards you start getting used to it. And I think when it stings on your face, that means it's kind of working. I don't know if that's true to everyone's toner, but I feel like when, I, when it stings my face, it means it's working. So yeah, that's my toner of the moment. So yeah. Okay, so the next product I have is going to be my Aveeno um, Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Looks like this. My mom got this from Costco for me. Um, this is really good for my dry skin, especially around my neck and my face area because my skin gets really dry, especially during winter time and summer time. This stuff is excellent. Like, my mom bought it for me, I think, beginning of this year, end of last year. My mom has seen me scratching my neck. My neck was white, like it looked like, ooh, it looked bad. So my mom actually purchased this for me and I like it. It's actually, it moisturizes for 24 hours, which is really good, and it comes with natural oatmeal. And it's fragrance free, which is really good because actually I can't really take fragrances in like a lot of cosmetic products. So this is really good. So if you guys want to pick this up, um, I believe they sell us at CVS for um, six something for a smaller bottle, probably about like this big from like down here to down up here. It's not that big, but this is actually really big because I'm going from Costco. So this is a really good lotion. So the next thing I have to have um, most of the time, if not all the time, is going to be my Lush Dream Cream. Um, this is really good for my eczema. It smells like, it smells like olive oil to me, but it looks like this. It's like this yellow, white, paste-like thing. Um, yeah, this smells like olive oil to me, but this stuff is really good. Um, I've been using it on my mouth area. It's kind of healed up almost in my elbow area and my knee area. So this is one of my skincare must-haves. Um, unfortunately, this stuff contains cocoa butter in it, which if you guys know, I'm kind of allergic to. But cocoa butter is a one, two, three or fifth thing down on the list so that's actually not bad but unfortunately I can't really put cocoa butter on my skin and I actually rubbed this on my neck one time and it made my neck all itchy and it wasn't really, it wasn't really good so I use this for my eczema on my mouth area my knee area my elbow area but I don't use this all on my skin because I can't because I'll start breaking out so I have this one for like my neck and my face and my elbows and my knees and 
whatever else, for just rubbing it all, all around your body. I use this for, for my eczema, like scars or whatever, so. Okay. okay, so the last skincare product that I have to have at all times is gonna be my Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment. And it comes with avocado. It's like this. Focus on, yeah. And it comes out and it looks green. It reminds me of this one so much because they're both green, but this is actually really good. Um, the texture is actually really good on this as well. Let's see where we're rubbing it in. Right here. And it gives you like that like non-greasy feeling, which is really good. Uh, I've been using this eye cream for the last couple years, and I still like it a lot. So in case you guys are wondering, this is a really good eye cream. Um, I picked this up from Nordstrom's. I think it was like maybe 20 bucks, 15, 20 bucks. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure about the price, but this is actually really good. Um, this was about, I would say, $15. So if you guys want to pick up some of these products, please do. These are really excellent products. Um, I love them, so yeah. <laughs> Okay, so in case you guys are wondering, I did cut my hair today because it was getting kind of freaking nasty. So I cut my hair and it's actually really layered right now. And I kind of crimped my hair so I can poof it up a little. So it looks like this all around. It's a really, I just I just kind of like just layered it a little. So it's all puffy and stuff like that. Um, the top I'm wearing is from Cotton On. If you guys had seen my other video, I actually purchased this top from Cotton On. But the gray cardigan I have on, I got from um, Bore Fashion. Um, Bore Fashion is not like a store it's a brand I think the store's name is called crystal something but we actually went um, to somewhere else and I picked up this cardigan because it was really cute and I like cardigans I don't know I just really like cardigans it looks super cute and it has pockets down here and I really like this cardigan so yeah my eye makeup I'm actually wearing Jill Stewart's palette and crystal eyes you guys can sell it looks like that and I'm actually not wearing anything on my lips because my lips are really pigmented right now, so... And I'm wearing Jill Stewart Blush in 08, I don't remember the name, I don't remember the name for it, but 08. And I'm wearing my Carpentier foundation with my, um, Paul and Joe powder with my Rimmel London Finish Mineral Powder, so... Okay, so that's about it for me, guys. Um, I'm gonna try to post some more tutorials this weekend if I have time. I don't know, I'm gonna be really busy studying, but... I will try to post up at least one video a week if I can. Cross your fingers. Hopefully I'll be able to post that up. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Talk to you guys all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!